Okay, so here's the house we're looking at today. Uh, Kona Kai. It's cute. Uh, it's a cute little property. You got your main house here. Got like a big garage workshop there. And then you got this little structure here. It looks like a little tiny home, but it's not finished inside. It's just a shell. But it's got, you know, siding and a roof and everything. And then so your, your land looks like this. You got your main road that comes down here. And then you come up this kind of a curved driveway that comes uphill. Um, you got plenty of parking and it's, does it, does it looks like it's pretty easy care landscaping, probably minimal. A lot of this stuff doesn't really need to be maintained that much. Probably weeding and things. But that's uh, a door that goes into the back of the house, goes into the kitchen. This appears to be like maybe it was a garage and then it was turned into a room. I don't know if that was done with permits or what. But these windows here are not glass. They're like a plastic. Now the sliding glass doors are glass. But these side windows are not real glass. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and then you have a really kind of a cool patio back here. Real pretty views of the water. Cool patio back here. More of the plexiglass windows. I mean, but that's glass. So this is almost like a family room. It seems like it may have been added on, but I, I really don't know. Um, but pretty views. Got a nice, nice little garden area. So this grass would have to be cut. But there is a huge pool back here. I mean, if it if it could be finished, it might be nice. But boy, it's just so deep. They're just little, little tiny areas. But that pool is very, very deep. Um, but I suppose if you got it going, it's not permitted. Pools are supposed to be permitted. This must be maybe pool equipment. Your catchment tank is down there, as you can see. So maybe that is a pump for the catchment tank. It could be. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and then there's another water tank there. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But this is the back of the house. Um, that's the door that, I would say that is probably the front door. This is a slider out one of the bedrooms. But nice concrete work, nice patio. And then there's a, here's the outdoor shower here. You got a place to put your trash, it's kind of nice. And then that's kind of going around the front. And then there's this big garage here. huge kind of plywood doors they're not really garage doors and they're like blowing they're not really I don't know they're kind of fastened a little bit weird but kind of a big garage I don't know if it has any oh there's some uh, equipment for the looks like water filter water filtration equipment here look like an ultra UV uh, filter on it. Then, so there's the house, and you got this little, not pretty landscaping. Got this little building over here. Oh, it's cute. It looks like a little house. I mean, I suppose you could finish it out and make a little ohana out of it. I mean, I don't you'd have to put plumbing and electric, and there's water here. I don't know what's going on with all this. There's little rock walls back here. That's behind the house. And then inside. It's just like a shell. It's got drywall up. I don't I don't think this is permitted, so the drywall has gone up over the electrical work that's been done, so you couldn't you wanted to get some kind of permit done on this, you'd have to rip out this drywall on so they could see the how the electrical was run. I don't know. I don't know what that is. So okay. Go inside, look at the main house. this door here this would be the main door that you're going to use anyway so you would park there's no garage well there's this garage but you could park here and then you would bring your uh-oh it's locked uh-oh my phone is in there the door's locked um did we go out the door back here oh no my phone is in there my phone is in my hand <laughs> but 
my sheet with the code is on the inside. Let's see, what did I do? Let me look at it. I gotta get inside. Here we go. We got it, guys. We're good. Okay, so that was the front door. So this is the house. Just tile floors. Got a nice big closet here. You know, just like a, this is like a pantry cleaning storage closet. So that's nice. A lot of storage space. It's very clean in here. It's very, uh, floors are nice and clean. It's warm. It's definitely warm up here. But the kitchen's nice and modern. It's got um, like a solid surface sort of countertops. But nice uh, modern appliances. Nice stainless steel sink with a modern Nice gas stove, which is really nice, propane. So the kitchen's real nice, so open, nice big island, sit at island, well that's good. And then this we're trying to figure out, it almost seems like maybe the house ended here and then they, or maybe that was a garage and then they added this on, cause it looked like this could be a set of sliding glass doors <laughs> at some point, but I'm not sure. And when you step out here, the temperature is completely different. It's very, very warm, but it's a nice room. I mean, this is the living room. So, it's kind of nice. And you got your parking area out there. Let's go back and look at the bedrooms. They're very small, very small bedrooms. So here's one of the bedrooms. It's super teeny, pretty views. This wouldn't even, uh, you could barely fit a twin bed in here. This would just be like an office, so. For a desk, and you got, you know, just a standard closet. This would be considered the master suite, which could barely fit a king size bed in here. Barely. Um, then you've got just a regular closet and then that's just kind of leading outside. Then this door leads to the one bathroom in the house. And then it also has a door here that leads to the one bathroom in the house. Very small, just a standard tub with tile, you know, nothing fancy, tile surround, um, but that's really it. Bedrooms are so tiny, oh my goodness. Anyway, that's the house.